Hi and welcome to another daily devotion. Today I just want to uh, bring out something that is, uh, you know, a hot topic at the moment, that is marriage. And, you know, those that believe in the sanctity of marriage and others just believe, you know, that you can marry pretty much anything you like. I read uh, in the paper the other day about how some person had actually wanted to marry their cat and another person wanted to marry their budgerigar for crying out loud. And uh, one person told me they, they read that a person wanted to marry a bridge. And I said to them, a bridge, like a bridge that goes over a train track or water and, you know, traffic goes over this. Yeah, a bridge, a bridge. I'm going, seriously? Man, you imagine being married to a bridge. You know, I, the first thing that came to my mind was that, uh, geez, if ever you had an argument with the bridge, you'd really want to get over it pretty quick. Anyway, I'll just leave that one right there. You know, it's very important that we do not lose... Uh, the truth and, and the, uh, you know, the revelation and the foundations of the first 11 chapters of the book of Genesis. And you see, when we see that the, uh, the truths are being eroded and, and disappearing from our, our Christian teaching, uh, we begin to see things like you know, gay marriage becoming a lot more prevalent in society. And, uh, you know, many people say, oh, well, just let them be if they want to get married. Let, you know, surely if you know, they love each other, God must be okay with that. You see, the reality is, is that God was the one that instituted marriage in the first place. And just let me read in Scripture here that it says here in Genesis chapter 2, and then it says, And then the rib which the Lord God had taken from man he had made into a woman, and he brought her to the man. And Adam said, Now... This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She, she shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and they shall become one flesh. And so, you know, folks, if, if we have drifted so far from this very, very, uh, you know, foundational truth of marriage, uh, well, then anything goes. We lose our frame of reference, our point of reference. And so here is this, you know, big debate in society today. You know, well, big deal about the sanctity of marriage. What's marriage anyway? The reality is, is that it, I don't believe it is taught enough in the Christian church. And marriage is something that God saw was a beautiful thing. And God, when he took the rib out of uh, Adam's side, uh, he didn't make another man. He made a woman. You know, God made Adam and Eve. He didn't make Adam and Steve. You know, it's just exactly what Scripture says here, that God made a woman. And so God decided that it was good for them to be married and be joined together as one flesh. Anyway, God bless you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.